And I have to explain what a G-spot is for all the gay men. <laughs> a G-spot is like this button in your vagina that if you push it, it turns it on. <laughs> you push it and it makes like a noise like, no. <laughs> That's if you have a Mac vagina. I don't know what noise it makes if you have a PC. <laughs> like, I, I really wanted to have, you know, have this whole G-spot experience because th th it's a very important thing for women's sexuality, and I wanted to find my G-spot G because I, I can't come from fucking. Okay, I went too fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just came out here, I can't come from fucking! I'm sorry. Let's go backwards. Um, my name is Margaret. Um, <laughs> Korean, um, comedian, and uh, 39, and uh, I can't come from fucking. <laughs> Why, can you? Who can come from fucking? Uh, okay. Gay guys don't count. But <laughs> My sexuality, like, I am way more about the outside, not the inside, right? Like, I am way more clitoral than vaginal. Yeah, and all the gay guys are like... So I got this G-shot, and uh, it didn't really work. Um, it just kind of swelled everything up in there. So now I feel like I have a gel insole. <laughs> but ain't no bleaching. Like, I don't know why people get it. Like, who is bummed out about their anal color? Like, I never thought about my anus having a color. Like, I just thought maybe a changed color with my mood. <laughs> Why is it better to have a light anus? I think that's racist. <laughs> I love Project Runway. It's just, it's just fags and fag hags fighting. I love Heidi Klum's dead eyes. <laughs> Fifteen designers competing for a chance to show their collection at Mercedes Benz Fashion Week. <laughs> Steven, your design looked unfinished. Your garment was practically unwearable. I get so nervous when they do the judging. Like, whenever I see Michael Kors, my asshole just slams shut, clang. <laughs> Not that it's open all the time or anything <laughs> weird like that. He's just so critical. And he wears too much self-tanner. So he's like a bitchy tangerine. Oh, don't peel her. She will squirt you right in the eye. <laughs> I don't understand why people hate gay marriage. Like, the people who hate gay marriage would never even know if gay people got married because they don't know any gay people. <laughs> Let's just not tell them. <laughs> now, I don't like three ways. I've had a few. 
I don't enjoy them. They make me feel like a competitive eater. <laughs> like I got a big stack of dicks in front of me. And <laughs> trying to judge. I've just been in that situation, you know, where my boyfriend wanted to have a three-way with this other man, and then we're there, and he's like, oh, I've never done anything like this before. But then he's just on the dick. Like... fucking inhaling the balls of <laughs> Well, he's taking to this like a duck to water. But I, I travel so much, like I fly everywhere, everywhere I go, I fly, and I always have to sit on the aisle, because I always have to get up to go to the bathroom, and if you sit in a window, people will not get up for you. They're like, oh, you have to go to the bathroom? Oh, okay. retract everything and hold their breath and just <gasps> Put your ass in my face. Do it now. But if you have not had sex with women before, you should try it, like, one time. All the gay men are like, no. <laughs> Could you imagine? most beautiful women are voluptuous. Like, I think that's the most beautiful kind of woman, a voluptuous, gorgeous woman. I'm not really into this supermodel body type, like Kate Moss. She doesn't have a vagina. She didn't feed it, and it died. I always want to be around women, because I always want to be around vaginal energy. And I always want to be around gay men, because I always want to be around vaginal energy. 